You greedy, greedy boys. 90. Extreme greed. I haven't seen this number in <laughs> years. <laughs> years here. Uh, so today we're going to talk about everything Bitcoin. Okay, where it is, what we're expecting, when you could potentially buy, and whether we do actually dump from here or we go parabolic. Okay, uh, so without further ado, obviously fear and greed is the 90. Let's move on uh, to ETFs here. We see ETF inflows kind of slow down a little bit here, but still in the hundreds of millions, which is great for volume, which is great for market cap, which is great for price. Okay, uh, so fantastic stuff. A total of 27 billion from ETFs at this point. That's gone up probably about 5 billion in the past two months. Okay, so that's pretty incredible just on a general scale in terms of bullishness. So I'm going to give that a little point there. Uh, this is a main page here. This is going to be the most important page here of this video, and I'm going to explain in depth, right? So uh, we've talked about the energy value for Bitcoin. This is calculated essentially uh, by how much the miners are mining, how much power they're putting into the mining, how much they're paying for mining, and uh, obviously how much they're selling Bitcoin for at the time, okay? Uh, and this basically just calculates what Bitcoin's price should be. And as you can see here, over time, we do oscillate around this bad boy. And one thing to note is when we do get over this red line, okay, that's when Bitcoin just goes absolutely ballistic towards the upside, okay? Big, big candles towards the moon here, as you can see, right? So that's really what we're waiting for here with Bitcoin right now. Um, one thing I will say though as well, before we get that parabolic, kind of stance, we typically do go sideways around this area, okay? Uh, it is also important to say that we have already done that with our most recent dump throughout this year, okay? Uh, so there is a chance that we do smash through here, but I will say it's still quite likely we do get a bit of a pullback to, I would say, the low 80s at least. I would love to be wrong here, okay? But that is currently my prediction. It was my prediction last week, it's my prediction this week, uh, and I'm happy to be wrong here because if I'm wrong, it's free money, <laughs> right? We just go up and it's free money for everyone. If I'm right, then we get a lower entry for Bitcoin. So yeah, we can't really lose here. One thing I will say is around this area, and I have been doing this just as I said a couple weeks ago I would do, okay, is setting up a grid bot around this area. Because one thing that's for sure here is we do get volatility around this, right? So if you set up a grid bot within a certain range like I've done, okay, that volatility and that kind of uh, market movements, that price chop, as people call it, right, then uh, yeah, I mean, you're going to make a lot of money from that volatility with a grid bot in play, okay? So that's fantastic stuff here. Let's move on to the charts, all right? So bang, and my webcam is not on. Beautiful stuff. There we go. Okay, well, that's the wrong one, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, so yeah, we're going to look at this right here, right now. Uh, this is where Bitcoin is on the daily. Uh, and on the daily here, one of the important notes here is this linear regressional growth curve. This isn't just a trend line, okay? This is actually a curve over time uh, of the middle of Bitcoin's range before it goes parabolic, okay? Uh, and this is using Fibonacci. This is using, um, uh, well, linear regressional curves and algorithms. Uh, and uh, yeah, lots of smart people made this curve. Uh, so it is something that gets respected. As you can see, it is where we topped recently. Okay, well, I say recently, the start of this year. Uh, and it is where we are struggling to get over right now. Okay, so if we are looking at this on the bluntest, purest scale, if we are going to pull back and test maybe the 21 EMA on the daily, then this is really the area we should pull back from. Again, happy to be wrong here, okay? Happy to be wrong. If we blast over this, okay, then uh, I expect probably something a little bit like this. And then, yes, it's it's go time. We bang it. We make a lot of money. Okay, I have been running a grid bot in this area, so it's been fantastic. Okay, uh, my grid bot is getting a little bit uh, shallow. Not shallow, I think too deep now, right? Where I've got a lot of orders here, okay? But uh, I've hit all my take profits on the top side here, right? So uh, what I'm going to do is actually just uh, probably change that grid bot to a wider range at this point, okay? But I want to be sure that we get over this first, uh, or I want to be sure we don't dump first, right? So if we dump first, then I will start a new grid bot from this level, okay? And that grid bot will be running from about 82 all the way up to 93, okay? So we can expect massive volatility in this area anyway if we do head down there. So uh, yeah, lots of money to be made with grid bots. If you're unfamiliar with what a grid bot is, guys, let me just explain really, really quickly. Okay, so pay attention here because uh, I don't really explain this a lot, but 
it is a very viable strategy, right? When you expect Bitcoin to go sideways, uh, what you do is you set up what's called a grid bot on exchanges, you can go check this out, check this out on Bybit. Okay, you can even do this on Apex as well, a DEX, right? Uh, but what you do, you get top side of the range, you get the bottom side of the range that you're predicting. Okay, you put those both into the grid bot. You then say how many uh, grids that you want, so how many orders you want in that grid bot. And then as volatility comes through and it fills the orders, let's say it goes down first, fills three of these orders. Okay, it's then gonna set take profits up here for you. You bang all the take profits. It's then gonna refill all these orders. Then you bang all of those, okay? And you can see from the volatility, you're just refreshing trades. You're making copious amounts of cash and it's really hands off as long as you're good at spotting ranges, okay? So that's all the grid bot is, but uh, that is also the daily coming through as well. We are seeing that price action cha channel get near that daily volume weighted ATR band. If we do go back in time here and just see uh, what happens when we do get near that, um, yeah, I mean, we do get a lot of volatility. So it's, use that as kind of like a, uh, not like a golden cross, but a cross for a pullback potentially here uh, that you can be expecting. Okay, same thing here. Okay, we've got a massive pullback around that area when that daily volume weighted ATR band crosses with the price action channel. So keep an eye. That is very, very close. Okay, so if we don't pump through here, if we don't go parabolic, then I am expecting to probably come down, test the 21 EMA at least. That's 82K now. I know I said 78K previously but I also said it will be based on this moving average and over time that target will go up for the pullback that's just how it works okay so uh, that is the long term let's go down to the midterm here uh, we did put these signals out on patreon for free yesterday none of those have been hit okay so no criteria has been hit to make this trade uh, I will say the gala trade we put out here uh, yesterday did come through, but you had to be pretty aggressive to get it. Okay, and we said, hey, if you can get this, and if it is aggressive, then uh, yeah, target up to 6%, but take profit at 1%, stop loss to entry, create a no loss scenario. So if you found this great, uh, incredibly hard trade to find, but if you did and you were aggressive, then uh, good stuff there, okay? Me personally, I didn't get this one. It was uh, a bit too quick. I wasn't around, uh, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, didn't lose any money. Can't really complain, right? So what we will say with this is, uh, yeah, these trades are still viable, okay? What we're looking for right here, right now, is 93.4 upwards to the 60 minute volume weighted ATR band, okay? That is a super, super important level. Um, and uh, yeah, if we can get to that level, fantastic stuff, okay? But nice 1% trade there towards the upside. Uh, and then towards the downside here, uh, this is actually gonna change now. Um, we're gonna have to make this a little bit shorter but uh, not too different uh, if we say so, right? So we can see here uh, with the 15 minute volume weighted ATR band, this is gonna be a key lower level, right? So if we do lose that, um, yes, that's gonna be something where we'll be looking to dump, retest, break the low, get in the short, and then take profit around the 55 EMA, okay? Um, and this is probably one of the easier trades coming through here, particularly if we are dumping uh, straight through. But one thing I will say is uh, a lot of these moves here in the Bitcoin market right now uh, are a lot quicker. And that is because we are in a bull market. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, you've got to expect that. So you've got to be quicker with those entries. Maybe look down to a five minute for those retests or a 15 minute for those retests. Whereas normally in a bear market, we're looking at like the four hour, we're looking at like the one hour, right? So really depending on how much volume is in the market, how little liquidity is in the market depends on the aggression of the move. And you as a trader have to actually adjust to that aggression okay good stuff and that's pretty much it uh, for these trades one thing I will say that is looming we do still have this CME gap here down at 78k so if it is going to be a huge megalodonistic dump okay then uh, yeah that could be something uh, where we should be targeting but just remember uh, yeah I mean I'm not really expecting to go below much lower than that and anyway, we could wick down there pretty easily but that I would assume to be the bottom if we do get down there okay if it's a black swan event very very bad it you basically we will come down we will retest this daily volume where today TR man if that retest fails that's how you know it's a dead cat bounce and then we bang it down to the low 60s terrible okay we don't want this we don't want this at all but uh, we have to be prepared for every scenario right so uh, right now bitcoin's looking bullish across the board etfs going crazy billions of dollars inflows okay uh, we're seeing the greed which is quite worrying okay fear and greed is quite worrying it's 90 so expect some pullbacks and volatility because of that okay but besides that it's looking like retail's waking up to bitcoin again and it's only a matter of time before we blast through 100k that's your summary Drop a like if you like that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Cheers.